A new mysterious chatbot called GPT-2 recently appeared on the scene, and let me tell you, it's causing quite a stir in the AI community. This chatbot has popped up on the Chatbot Arena benchmarking site, and from what I've heard, its capabilities are seriously impressive. While it's pretty amazing at things like problem solving, math, coding, and ASCII art, it's not quite up there with GPT-4 in most aspects. Now here's where things get really interesting. When asked about its origins, this chatbot claims to have been created by none other than OpenAI themselves. However, there's no official documentation or attribution to back up this claim. So, naturally, this has fueled a ton of speculation and rumors within the AI circles. A Stanford student, Andrew Gao, claims it solved an international math Olympiad problem. Even Sam Altman on April 30 said, I do have a soft spot for GPT-2 on X. Though I tried accessing it on Chatbot Arena myself, all I got was an error message, as the chatbot is no longer available. Further, Sam Altman recently gave a talk and participated in a Q&A session at Stanford's Seminar for Aspiring Entrepreneurs. During this event, Altman sat down with Stanford lecturer Ravi Balani to discuss the future of AI development and how to mitigate potential risk as we inch closer to achieving artificial general intelligence. Now, here's where things get really interesting. Altman flat out stated that GPT-4 is the dumbest model we will ever use. First of all, that's nice of you to say, but ChatGPT is not phenomenal. Like, ChatGPT is, like, mildly embarrassing at best. Um, GPT-4 is the dumbest model any of you will ever, ever have to use again by a lot. Well, it seems Altman was hinting at the fact that GPT-5 is going to be a much smarter and more powerful model. In fact, he even suggested that access to basic computing power should eventually become a human right. Now, this next part blew my mind. When discussing the potential cost of developing AGI, Altman doesn't really care about the price. Whether we burn 500 million a year or 5 billion or 50 billion a year, I don't care. I genuinely don't. As long as we can, I think, stay on a trajectory where eventually we create way more value for society than that, and as long as we can figure out a way to pay the bills, like, we're making AGI. It's going to be expensive. It's totally worth it. Altman is actually convinced that AI's economic value to the global economy will far outweigh any costs incurred during its development. Analysts at Bank of America have estimated that AI could boost the world economy by a staggering $15.7 trillion by 2030.